Hello, hi, my name is Claire and this is Peachy Keen Pans. Welcome back. I am going to be updating my Pan Those Eyeshadows project today. I'm kind of doing a combined November-December update because I didn't do one last month because um, I just, yeah, wasn't really using the shadows that were in my project, to be honest. Uh, and I think that's partly to do with kind of what colours I was gravitating towards, also starting um, a new job that's just a sort of a one day a week thing on top of what I'm currently doing. So even though it's not a huge change, it was still enough of a change that I was kind of sticking to either um, really quickly kind of throwing a blush through the crease or a bronzer on the days where I didn't have a lot of time in the morning or kind of prioritise sleeping in an extra 10 minutes rather than doing my eyeshadow, for example. Um, and then also just, I guess, having, yeah, this preference towards, interestingly enough, blue eyeshadow. I'll put up a couple of examples probably here. Um, just because, I yeah, I really have been on my blue train um, recently. And maybe because I've, I've been wearing some blue clothes, this included. I did do an eye look matching this cardigan for a birthday party recently. I also had like a sort of blue iridescent look to go with another blue top I was wearing. I wore blue to work, but then like chickened out because it looked too bold on the lid because it was like a darker blue. And it was also partly because I was um going through uh, and trying to use here. You can see here, I've got all my eyeshadow palettes printed out. I was trying to make sure that I've used every single one of them at least once by the end of the year. And a lot of the ones that I hadn't touched were kind of blues, especially darker blues and more murky blues. So it was partly like out of a sort of panning inkling in the sense of wanting to use everything at least once, which is to me, you know, has to do with the panning ethos of getting used out of your makeup. But it's also partly been just a natural um, kind of I don't know, pull towards or gravitating towards blue eyeshadows, pastel, iridescent, sparkly, and darker blues as well. So that's kind of why I think the big reason why I haven't made a lot of progress. And some of these shadows I actually just have not used all month, which is kind of a bummer, I guess, um, is how I'd put it. So I'm just trying to take a look. I don't think I have the exact numbers of my usage this month in mind, so I'm just going to have to kind of explain it um, from what I can remember and then I'll put on the screen the actual usage numbers because the way that I keep track of them, that's on that side there, you can probably see I do a, like a full tally and I did consider swapping colours of pen to kind of show the different months, but now I just know what the total number of uses is rather than knowing how many times I've used it in the last month slash month and a half because this is kind of, you know what, this is me actually finishing the project for the year. So um, just before I get into it, I am going overseas in a week and I'll be gone for a month. So what that's going to mean is that I won't be doing any of these projects for that time, as in I won't be, you know, focusing on anything in particular other than, I guess, generally focusing on the stuff that I bring with me. Um, so I might do like, I don't know, a video or maybe just an Instagram post showing what makeup I decided to take with me on this trip. But um, yeah, I guess aside from that, what that means is that I'll have a bit of time to think and see what kind of project I want to do next year. If I'd like to do either a pan that palette or a project level up, I thought I might do. That one sounded quite interesting. Um, or a pan those eyeshadows again. So like, if you do have a preference in terms of what you like to watch, be it a pan that palette or a pan those eyeshadows or something else, let me know. Cause I've, I did a pan that palette last year, um, 2021. This year I didn't really start pan those eyeshadows until towards the end of the year. Um, and I had been doing it also in 2020, I think for a lot of that year. And I did, I believe, a pan that palette back in 2019 and no longer have that palette because that was the modern renaissance. So, um, anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm just going to jump right into this then. So I've had my little stack of palettes here. These are the ones, um, from which my, from whence my shadows came, but basically Mark Jacobs on the dance floor is this peach at the end here and I have made no progress in it. I don't really know why I'm showing you to be honest, but I um, 
I believe I didn't use this a single time this month. And maybe I used it once, but I don't think I did even. Um, I just kind of didn't think of it and didn't gravitate towards it being that kind of slightly brighter peach. Maybe once for work. I'll see if I have a photo. If not, yeah, I think it just got skipped over this month. The next one is, um, what is this called? Phantom from Clara Psyche. That is this shadow. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit more of a dip going on. And I did use this, I think, once or twice. Um, and I believe it was in a pretty similar way to how I've used it in the past, which is all over the lid, in the crease, and then pack an iridescent over the top, because I just think that's really pretty with a grey. I'm not, like, super familiar with using greys, so that's kind of what I end up doing with it a lot. Um, that one I do still want to hit pan in. Like, some of these I think I will... Now that I'm finishing this project and probably going to start fresh next year, I imagine they might not end up getting panned at any point soon. But that one I feel I'm getting close, so I feel like I kind of keep at it. Maybe also experiment with greys in that process. Then I have Peach Cobbler. I'm pretty sure, yep. Yeah. So Peach Cobbler is this, oh, excuse me, this shadow, which I used once. I used this once and I don't have a lot to say about it. It's quite a nice formula. It's one of the nicer Too Faced formulas. It's the kind of color that um, I think I mentioned I have worked on before in Pan Those Eyeshadows uh, in the form of, I'll just show you, this shade. I think they're very similar. I worked on this shadow before and you can essentially see this baby dip in here. And this is, and I have said it before, the product of 40 uses. 40 uses got me like the hint of a dent oh yeah while i have this out the next shade is figgy pudding which is this one there we go figgy pudding i also believe i either used it once or not at all this month again just in favor of using blues for whatever reason that kind of wasn't one that got used um and i don't think i will end up penning that one unless i roll it into a project again in future it really is a, like a very challenging shade. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. And then lastly, and this was kind of the reason for me delaying this update as well, is that the shade Cor Corazon or Cor Corathon, I'm not too sure, um, this bright red, I had only used it, actually I hadn't used it at all until recently. And then I was like, damn it, I need to use this at least once before my update, because otherwise it's a bit embarrassing. It's like, it's a bright red. I knew it would be tricky, I had it in my mind, and then just like didn't use it. So I used it recently in a look, I'll pop that up here, and um, I thought it was really nice. And I actually, I got a few compliments on it, so I appreciate that if any of you watching other people have sent a message. Thanks. Um, but yeah, I do like, I do actually like wearing reds. When I wear them, I'm like, fuck yeah, like feeling myself. I think I also had my period at the time, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll wear a red eyeshadow, like just really vibing it um but yeah that's the incredibly quick um update to my panos eyeshadows i think i was really vibing this project for a couple months and then this most recent month and a bit it just kind of hasn't kept up um or i haven't kept up so i think maybe that's partly to do with the actual shadows that i'd chosen and then also yeah like prioritizing a little bit of extra sleep rather than eyeshadow time in the morning, meaning that I'll just do, as I said, the kind of bronzer or blush on the eye. Um, or having days where I just wanted to match my makeup to my clothes. And that's just been a very specific color that I've then gone for, which is not a color included in this project. So, I mean, even today, I'm wearing a very colorful eyeshadow look, but none of these colors are my Panda's eyeshadow colors. Like I could have maybe used figgy pudding as the liner for today but I did not um because th this this is actually uh a first impressions of a new palette so of the um P. Louise Unlock Your Creativity palette so if you do want to see that I will either have already uploaded it or upload it shortly take a look I'm really happy with how it turned out to be honest um and yeah, I think <laughs> this is, I know this is sort of a very anticlimactic end to what was a, I think, fun little project for a bit there. Um, please let me know, should I continue 
the Panthers Eyeshadows Project. Although I will be rolling all new shades because I think in the new year that's just a fun thing to do. Or should I do a pen that palette? I, I get that's a little hard to ask you guys given that I haven't done an inventory on here. But if you do want to take a look at the eyeshadow palettes I own, it's on Instagram. I did an in inventory post really recently. Or is there some other project that you think would be worthwhile? Because I'm honestly, I'm, I'm undecided at the moment. And I'm pretty open to these ideas. Like, I could kind of go in any direction. Um, I had such a fun time with the pen that palette last year. With the white peach palette. That was, like, really satisfying. Quite easy as well. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you're all having a great time. I hope you have a lovely holiday period. I don't think I will be filming another one until after I get back. Which will be the end of January. So... Um, have a great time, stay safe, hopefully you can be with the people who you enjoy and love, and yeah, all the best until then. Bye!